So whenever you're ready, you're hit that start control. button. Oh, I do? I get to do something? Okay. Oh my god, this is so fun. You get to pick with generation. You always amaze me. This is so cool. So today, you're gonna be reacting to an Impossible Odds compilation. Okay. Oh, okay. I like Impossible Odds. After each video, we're gonna ask you to rate it on a scale from one to five based on how impossible you think the video would be to replicate, with five being the highest. Okay. So basically, they're all gonna be fives. So, <laughs> so one being they could easily do it again, five being there's no f***ing way that could happen. Okay, got it. And something exciting, after you finish this game, we're actually gonna have you play a bit of the first ever interactive episode of Generations React, where the audience gets to play along at home. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, that should be fun. Oh, lit, I was in that. I think interactive YouTube videos are really fun. Being a part of the first one for React is like really sick for me. Now 31, 6, 5, 2, 65. Oh, Kenley Jensen. Wilson. Contreras, strike one. Easter egg hunt, a little late. Whoa! Right oh, it went through his arm. What the hell? A little late. Boom. Oh. oh, nice. Right into his pocket. That's cool. However, <laughs> it's basic physics. Hit it right back. <laughs> Why not? Oh, that's wild. It's almost like magic. Because you didn't see that ball go into his pocket. That is extremely rare to happen. I was a catcher. You couldn't plan that. So on a scale from one to five, how impossible to replicate do you think that is? Um, maybe a four. A three. Just because like, I feel like that can be recreated. Two. I'd have to give it a five. 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 That's like pure like chance, the way that the ball is thrown. Like, there's no way anybody would be able to like recreate that. Five. Like in his pocket? That's so crazy. <laughs> Since that's complete chance, I'm gonna give that an actual five. Some statistician out there has to tell me the odds of that kind of thing occurring again. I mean, the the, the speed would have had to been the same, the wind, the, oh, you could never do that again, that's a five. What if drones' batteries run out? <laughs> I've thought about that more than once. Oh, wait, I think I've seen this one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is this what I th I've seen this before. This is so crazy. This gave me the most anxiety I've ever had in my entire life. Hey. That's some commitment just to save a drone. Barely caught it. So close. <sighs> get it, get it, get it. Oh my God. He saved it. That was literally, I was like, oh my God, he better get this. That's like my biggest fear with my phone. Like I have dreams where my phone will be like falling into the water and I'm just like, no. You know what I mean? So that's that's crazy. I'm gonna give that one a five. That's a one. It depends on how fast you can swim. I mean, look at Michael Phelps. Two. It was a four. My heart would have stopped. That's not that impossible though. Like you just gotta, you know, swim out and catch it. I give that like a two. It's a three. That's a five. Everything's a five! Two, just because, um, you know, the drones don't go down that fast, and I feel like any normal swimmer can get to a place in that amount of time. That's more of like a one. Like, I feel like you could plan it, like go out with a low battery over water that you know you can swim to in a certain amount of time, and just like, yeah, I feel like that's easier to plan. Hey. <gasps> oh! Hey. Wait, did it go into the car? Whoa! Whoa! Did he get in the window? That's crazy. <gasps> that kid's like, I am so busted. Right in the back window. What? Was that on purpose or something? <laughs> It's almost like the car was like waiting for it to go in there. I give that a four. That one's only about a two. Odds are it wasn't something that happened in real time. First shot. A four. I'll give it a three. Three, if you're like, maybe timed it just right. A little bit of practice. Four, only because I've seen like soccer players have like impeccable aim. It's a four. That was cool, five out of five. Kids are always kicking balls outside and they land up, they can land up uh, in your uh, living room. <laughs> if your window is open on your house or apartment, 
So I would say that's a three. Whoa! What happened? Where'd it go? <coughs> that's a choking hazard! <laughs> <coughs> That's exactly what I warned my children about with those things. That one seemed a little more easy to replicate, especially with multiple tries. A two. That's a three. Two. A one. You can tell that guy did it on purpose and he was actually aiming for the mouth. Three. I'll give it a three. A two. A two, because I feel like you could practice that. Five, just because of the, like, you know, how precise that had to be. The same three trucks with the blinkers synced. That's tight. With the blinkers synced. Oh, okay. What? That's really Aaron. cool. Honestly, I like low-key love it when that happens, when like all the cars, or like at least two of the cars, the blinkers are synced up, it just makes my heart happy. I've actually seen that before. Um, I was on like a road trip to Nevada, and there were like three cars whose li like, lights, and it was the same car, and they were like Lexuses, and their lights all synced up. It was pretty crazy. I'll give that like a three. A one. If it is the identical vehicle, they could set it up and try and time it. That's a one. There's so many cars out there, the models are the same. It's a two. If it was like, on purpose, maybe like a one. That one's definitely a five because I'll probably never see that again in my life. It's easily replicatable. I'm gonna give that a two. A four. What are the odds that the three of the same truck come to the same street in the same city, in the same state, in the same country, in the same planet, and have the same blinker on? Five out of five. Oh, what's gonna happen? Oh, no way. Ah! <laughs> oh. That would have been so bad. Oh my God! Ah! <laughs> what are the freaking odds? That is such a five, that car. <sighs> a four. Okay, we gotta give another five. Three. A two. I feel like the right calculations, you could feasibly recreate that. A four. A four. It didn't not hit the car, so I'm gonna give it like, like a two. A four. Also, why didn't he back up? <laughs> like, it's just, like you see a giant rock coming towards you. As soon as I started to see it start coming down, I'd be like, no, mm -mm, no. Mm -mm. So as promised, you're now going to be playing part of the first ever interactive episode of Generations React. All right, this is exciting. I don't know what to expect, but this is gonna be tight. You're gonna see quite a few familiar faces in this episode. Now you get to decide what you or your fellow cast members react to. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this, what the heck? We've been working really hard to make a bunch of new interactive shows together with Echo, which is a choice-driven entertainment platform where the audience is in control of what happens in the story in a way that you can't really do on YouTube. Echo is completely free. You can play on mobile, tablet, or on your desktop. For those watching at home, click the link in the description or go to helloecho.com slash fbe-x-echo to play now. We've already released a couple other videos that you can check out, and we'll be releasing another 10 interactive experiences over the next few months that will be comedy series, interview series, and satisfying series, as well as making more of your favorite FBE shows into interactive shows for the first time like this one, Generations React. Ready to get started? Yes, let's do it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited to see like how this works. Wow. Title says generations okay. in oh, reactive oh, impossible odds. <gasps> Dude, this is so hard. Wow. What? Right They're the all here. Cup. What? Wow. Oh my god, I saw myself. This is so cool. It's like a little game. So whenever you're ready, you can hit that start control. button. Oh, I do? I get to do something? Okay. Oh my god, this is so fun. I get to pick what we get to react wow. to? Can I start? Okay, I'm gonna start. Welcome to the very first interactive episode. Tori! For this interactive so version, cute, Eric! For this interactive version, you'll be getting to make your own episode where- Oh, we're that's really cool. Episodes. Will it be this bottle cap challenge? Or Mr. Bo Jenga? I did this. Be this bottle cap challenge? Yeah, I reacted to these videos. Which video do you think is better? The bottle cap challenge, I remember that. That one, for sure. Do this way. Five, four, three. Teens, oh adults, or elders. So you can see like different people's reactions, basically. You get to pick a generation. Always amazing. This is 
so cool. Do I want to watch teens, oh adults, God. or elders? Of course I'm going to watch the elders. I got to go with the elders because I just think oh, good. Very they'll good. be way more impressed with this. Not bad. Carson's like not impressed, bro. Scissors and a Jenga tower and make it form like that. I could probably do that too. See, he always says shit like that. He's so That's funny. I feel like elders just have so much insight. Now is he gonna show us they're not all glued together? Because I'm also very cynical. <laughs> Being very analytical. And it's empty. No, the fact that it didn't knock over. He looks too smug. Like he's like, yeah, I did that. I would be freaking out. <laughs> Eric would be freaking out. <laughs> Let's see what that the elders right. think. It's if he would have done a 360. Oh, not good enough for him. I love it. That was really, really good. See? Typical elder. Do you want to ask the reactors a follow-up question or go on to the final round? You need to ask questions? What? I want to ask a follow-up question. Like, I'm talking a bunch of smack. I probably couldn't do that. Yeah, you, you couldn't. Yes, oh my gosh, this is so, so crazy. Serious. You're literally, like, people get like so creating your own yeah, episode so at home. Physics. That was so cool. Like, you feel like you're a part of it, which I think the viewers at home are really going to enjoy because they already sort of feel familiar and they feel like it's this, like, one big group of people all doing and loving the same kind of stuff. And this just intensifies that. So, overall, what was this interactive experience? like for you today? I mean, it was my first one, so I liked it for a lot. I, I probably want to do more now. It makes me feel like I'm doing something, like I'm like participating in the episode, you know, which is like, you usually don't get that when you're just sitting and watching. It's kind of cool that I could watch them react to it. You know, I could pick the generation that likes reacting with that. It's really cool. I already get involved into shows and into like YouTube stuff. So it's like, it'll be cool to actually be involved in what I'm watching. I loved it. You get the reactions you're maybe more curious about by picking what age group you want or whatever's more entertaining for you. Anybody who's into social media or YouTube or anything like that is going to absolutely love this because oh, you just, you actually are a part of it. And if you like it and you enjoy it, you want to be a part of it. Oh, this is cool. Hey guys, Rutu here, producer at FBE. Did you guys like watching the Generations play Generations Interactive? Well then why don't you go play it for yourself right now on Echo and be in control of all the reactors. Make sure to check out the link in the description and thank you for always supporting what we do here at FBE. Couldn't do it without you. Bye guys.